Cosmology brings us face to face with the deepest mysteries, with questions that were once treated only in religion and myth. The Hindu religion is the only one of the world's great faiths dedicated to the idea that the cosmos itself undergoes an immense, indeed an infinite, number of deaths and rebirths. It is the only religion in which the time scales correspond, no doubt by accident, to those of modern scientific cosmology. Its cycles run from our ordinary day and night to a day and night of Brahma, 8.64 billion years long, longer than the age of the Earth or the Sun, and about half the time since the Big Bang. And there are much longer time scales still. There is the deep and appealing notion that the universe is but the dream of the god who, after a hundred Brahma years, dissolves himself into a dreamless sleep and the universe dissolves with him until, after another Brahma century, he stirs, recomposes himself and begins again to dream the great cosmic lotus dream. Meanwhile, elsewhere, there are an infinite number of other universes, each with its own god, dreaming the cosmic dream. In India, there are many gods, and each god has many manifestations. These Chola bronzes cast in the 11th century include several different incarnations of the god Shiva, seen here at his wedding. The most elegant and sublime of these bronzes is a representation of the creation of the universe at the beginning of each cosmic cycle, a motif known as the cosmic dance of Shiva. The god has four hands. In the upper right hand is a drum whose sound is the sound of creation. In the upper left hand is a tongue of flame, a reminder that the universe now newly created will billions of years from now be utterly destroyed. Creation, destruction. These profound and lovely ideas are central to ancient Hindu beliefs as exemplified in this Chola temple at Daras Suram. They are a kind of premonition of modern astronomical ideas. Without doubt, the universe has been expanding since the Big Bang, but it is by no means clear that it will continue to expand forever. If there is less than a certain amount of matter in the universe, then the mutual gravitation of the receding galaxies will be insufficient to stop the expansion and the universe will run away forever. But if there is more matter than we can see, hidden away in black holes, say, or in hot but invisible gas between the galaxies, then the universe holds together and partakes of a very Indian succession of cycles expansion followed by contraction, cosmos upon cosmos, universes without end. If we live in such an oscillating universe, then the Big Bang is not the creation of the cosmos, but merely the end of the previous cycle, the destruction of the last incarnation of the cosmos. <laughs> 